welcome to the next lecture in electric circuit analysis we were discussing the frequency response analysis in the previous lecture we cover the series resonance now in this particular lecture we are going to focus our discussion on parallel resonance so in the parallel rlc network where the resistance inductance and capacitance are in parallel with the source current we have taken as the source that circuit is known as the tank circuit and the resonance condition we are going to study since it is a parallel circuit so it is known as parallel resonance the derivation and other aspects will be similar to what we have discussed for the series resonance so the waveform of the frequency and the current we have seen in the previous discussion also that at the resonant frequency the current is maximum which is vm by r and here at the resonant frequency your net impedance of the network is resistive in nature so z will be equal to r whereas omega 1 and omega 2 are the half power frequency and the difference between omega 2 and omega 1 which is the frequency bandwidth of the signal now if we derive the equations for the parallel rlc network we will go from the admittance point of view so admittance y which is nothing but the transfer function given as the ratio of the current by voltage so admittance we can write for the network as 1 by r which is the conductance plus j times xc minus xl we know that the imaginary part of the network will be equal to 0 under the condition of resonance and the resonant frequency will be 1 by under root lc which is given in radian per second now the derivation for omega 1 and omega 2 which are the half power frequency for the parallel rlc network will be given by the formula which is little bit different from the what we have derived for the series resonance so here omega 1 and omega 2 which are the half power frequency is given by minus 1 by 2 rc plus under root 1 by 2 rc whole square plus 1 by lc similarly in omega 2 the negative sign will vanish and we will have the same quantity here as omega 2 we can see that the bandwidth is nothing but the difference between the higher half power frequency and the lower half power frequency so omega 2 minus omega 1 which be which will be equal to 1 by 2 1 by rc of the network so we can find the bandwidth from the frequency point of view or from the components connected to the parallel rlc network we have defined the quality factor of the circuit as resonant frequency by bandwidth which is nothing but omega not rc for this case or otherwise because in this case for the resonance we will have xl is equal to xc so we can write omega not rc or we can write r by omega not l so that will give me the quality factor of the network so the half power frequency we can also derive in terms of the quality factor so omega 1 and omega 2 in terms of the quality factor we can have a new formula which is no nothing but the derivation from the component point of view so here we can obtain the omega 1 and omega 2 in terms of omega not which is the resonant frequency and the quality factor we have seen that the high q circuit high quality factor circuit are those circuits whose the quality factor value is greater than equal to 10 this we have discussed in the previous lecture 2 in the series resonance in that type of network we can make an assumption that omega 1 is normally equal to omega not minus b by 2 and omega 2 is normally equal to omega not plus b by 2 although the circuit is not symmetrical in nature we can have the waveform where omega 1 and omega 2 which are lying at the distance b by 2 from the omega not so we can obtain omega not minus b by 2 and omega not plus b by 2 as the value of half power frequency for high q circuits now if we compare the series circuit and the parallel circuit all the characteristics that is the resonant frequency quality factor bandwidth half power frequency and high quality factor circuits the half power frequency components we can have the formula 
that the resonant frequency remains the same whether it is a series circuit or the parallel circuit. When we talk about the quality factor, there is little difference in the formula. Here we have omega naught L by R. Here it is inverse of that R by omega naught L in the parallel circuit. Whereas this is also the inverse. It is 1 by omega naught RC for the series network. It is omega naught RC for the parallel network. The bandwidth remains the same that is resonant frequency by the quality factor of the network for the series circuit and the parallel circuit. When we derive the half power frequency formula in terms of the resonant frequency and the quality factor for the series network and the parallel network, the formula remains the same. Here we have plus minus sign because we are covering both omega 1 and omega 2. Similarly, for high quality factor circuit where Q is greater than or equal to 10, we can use the formula to obtain the omega 1, omega 2 in terms of the bandwidth with respect to the resonant frequency. We will solve one problem to understand the parallel RLC network. So given the parallel RLC network where the resistance value is 8 kilo ohm, inductance is 0 0.2 milli Henry and capacitance is 8 microfarad. We need to determine the resonant frequency and the half power frequency omega 1, omega 2, the quality factor and the bandwidth whereas we have to determine the power dissipated at the resonant frequency and the half power frequency. So first the solution we have to obtain the resonant frequency which is 1 by under root LC directly from the component we will get 25 kilo radian per second. The quality factor is reson uh, resistance by omega naught L which is equal to 1600. This is very very greater than 10 so we can say that this is high quality factor circuit. Bandwidth is resonant frequency by quality factor which gives me 15.625 radian per second. So omega 1 and omega 2 we can easily derive once we have got the resonant frequency and the bandwidth. So we have omega naught if we subtract b by 2 here then we will get omega 1 if we add b by 2 we will get omega 2 those are half power frequency and this is valid only for the high quality factor circuit that is greater than 10. Now we also know that at the resonant frequency the impedance of the network is equal to the resistance so the net current which is flowing in the network at resonance will be V by R where the supply voltage V is equal to 10 angle minus of 90 because it is given sin omega t in phasor we will be converting as 10 minus 90. The resistance value is 8 kilo ohm which we can substitute here as 8000 which gives me the current 1.25 angle minus 90 milliamp. Now at omega naught the power formula is half I square R where I naught is the current at resonance that is 6.25 milliwatt whereas at half power frequency the power will be half of the maximum power so it is 3.125 milliwatt. So when we need to determine the power dissipated once we have determined at the resonant frequency we can determine at half power frequency which are nothing but the half of the resonant frequency power. So this lecture and the previous lecture together we have completed the resonance condition and we also discussed the transfer function and the Bode plots to determine the frequency response. In the coming lecture we are going to discuss the filters and how their characteristics are. So thank you for now.